How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back with another boxing. Beer mails. Beer fucking mails. Uh, love me some beer mails. Who doesn't love some beer mails? Um, but yeah, this one comes from uh, someone who sends me epic beer mails. I got a two-bottle beer mail by this fine gentleman last time he sent me one. I'm assuming this, actually, because his name isn't on here, but it's Jacob from Quebec. Uh, he sent me some uh, Latrosse Musketeers beers uh, last time, and uh, he sends this one off. I assume, like I said, it doesn't have his name on it, but it's com com co fr coming from sorry Quebec, and he kind of hinted at sending me something. So if it's not you, dude. What? Well, that's weird. But if it probably is, which it is, thank you very much. So yes, this is not faucet fixtures. This is a box full of beer. Um, Let's cut in this fucker. See what she's got. So you're talking about a pretty gigantic box of beer from, let's see, it is from, it's the actual town here, Get to Know, Q QC, you know what I mean? So that is the country code. Let's wrap, get this fucker open. It's been a while since I've done an unboxing. I've actually filmed a couple and forgot to upload them, oddly enough. So, yeah, let's uh, let's uh, see what we have going on here. He said he had some tasty treats for me. A little, uh, little goodness. Let me take the wrapping out of here. Because I'm horrible at this. We have, ooh, a little bit of can, maybe. A little bit of bottle action. Some 750s. Look at this. Oh, someone's... Thank you, Daddy. Fucking treating me like a fucking king. Oh, what? Holy shit. Good God. Okay. Well, that is that so far. I do not see a note or anything like that. Some people put in notes. You don't have to fucking put in a note. I don't care. So you have one gigantic bottle. Two, what looks like a semi-gigantic bottle. Three, looks like a bottle. Feels like a bottle. That feels like a can. So let's do this. Let's start from... Where do I want to go here? Let's start here first. Oh my god, everything's popping off so easy. I'm telling you what right now. I'm loving this shit, so... Stuff is popping off easy. I don't have to worry about fucking craziness. First off, we have... It is uh, Beyond the Pale. Um... From ba, 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 uh, Air, Aromatherapy, American IPA, strong beer, 6.5% alcohol by volume, no date in the can. Directions for directions for use. Consult with your local ophthalmologist prior to usage. Initial loading dosage, uh, maintenance dosage. Okay, that's kind of cute. I like that. And so, uh, arom uh, aromatherapy. I assume that's the name of the brewery. Oh, Beyond the Pale Brewing. Because you need to read shit. Beyond a Pale Brewing Aromatherapy American IPA. Uh, so yeah, little can actually, like a little can. Nice, cool little can here, like a matte black with a little fucking fence there, going with a little glossy hop on it. We're off to a good fucking start here so far. So, can son, Take a little sippy poo. Mmm, good beer day for me. Um, I uh, had a little. Uh, my girlfriend, she lives in Jersey, and she, uh, she usually drives up here on uh, Thursday, stays till like Monday, Tuesday, right here, but she, oh, another can, but she, uh, she, uh, her, not car trouble, but her car wasn't acting right, so I went and picked her up, we'll get to that, back to that story in a bit, and then second up, we have Sunsplit IPA, makers of very good beer, uh, strong beer, Dominion City, 6.5%. Alcohol by volume. This is canned May 2nd. So it's about three weeks old, being that it's, um, I think it's the 17th now. Um, two weeks old, actually. Sunsplit IPA, a hoppy beer inspired from by Vermont brewers, pushing the boundaries of the IPA with big tropical hop flavor. Balanced bitterness, expressive yeast, malt character, and a rich malt body. Sunsplit was made with loads of oats and, 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 and temperate hopping rates, and deliberate lacking a filtering or fitting. I don't know if that meant finishing or whatnot. Um, I'm going to tell you what right now. I 
fucking love this can. This is a cool fucking can, man. I'm a sucker for um, Cobalt Blue on yellow. It just works for me. Oh, my soccer team has those colors, but even before I actually was a fan of the soccer team, it was always a color combination that really worked in my brain. So just that alone just wins it in my eyes. But um, yeah, love the can. Love everything about it. Two for two, son. Loving it. Oh, okay. Ooh, popping shit and breaking shit. It's like, Papa can't help himself. But anyway, like I said, I was uh, driving the jersey. And uh, I got out of work early. Got to get a fancy haircut like you got right now. And uh, she, uh, I got there like early and I'm like, screw it. Let's go to New York. So I just made like a, a New York trip for beer. Ooh, dude, a CL. This is a fucking, I'm going to tell you right now. I didn't even see it. I see dude a CL cap. The only way he sent me a fucking dude a CL beer is if it's barely a dude CL. I can't wait to drink this motherfucker. Oh, yeah, motherfucker. That's what I'm talking about right there. We're talking about a bourbon Pesh Mortel. That's right. I've been wanting to try one of their barrel-aged beers for a very long time. I've actually heard kind of poopy things about their barrel-aged program. Not that it's the best in the world, but leave that to me. I'm, I will be the judge of that. Definitely a newer version. I mean, you're talking here, it was bottled on brrr, November 7th. Uh, you can tell that for a couple of re different reasons. The old schoolers, this was gold, and the other one it actually has a fucking date on it instead of some weird fucking code. I actually ended up writing to the CL, trying to figure out their um, their coding for uh, some of their beers. So, yeah, I'm super excited to give this a whirl. Yeah, it's like scratching stuff. No, I don't smell bourbon, but you know, we'll see what happens. So. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Oh, I've been wanting to try one of those for a very long time. Very, very long time. So, it's just hard to get. Like, it's weird. It's not that it's necessarily hard to get. I know people like, that have gotten it, but for some reason it's just kind of eluded me. So, let's push this gigantic bottle out. Fat end first. Ooh, wax. Wax, you know what's good. This is the shit I'm talking about right here. Cafe Del Bestardo. This is a Nickelbrook beer, okay? Um, I haven't done a Nickelbrook review in quite a long time. Last time I actually did a Nickelbrook review, probably with anybody, was Joe from NEPA Beer Reviews. Uh, he was going to brewery school in Niagara College. Uh, he brought back some of their, I think it was like uh, a couple of... Uh, Naughty Neighbor, maybe, or some other ones. Anyway, um, leading up to that, I actually, you know, um, there's a lot of Canadian beer tubers, uh, uh, but more uh, specifically the ones in Ontario, whether it be Chad from Albino Rhino and those kind of guys, yeah, or even, I would go as far as to say the Joe, um, average Joe, um, they introduced me kind of to Nickelbrook and uh, their uh, Bolshevik bastard onto their... Uh, Kentucky Bastard to the Wani Bastard. It is fantastic. I heard absolutely fantastic things about this. It's a bourbon barrel aged imperial stout with coffee beans. So you're talking about a coffee bourbon barrel aged beer from one of the breweries that not only I have really loved but have missed because with Joe moving away from there and just me not getting up in Canada that much as of late. Thank you. Thank you very much. And here we go. Last but not least. Let's fight through this. I, 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 let's see what this is. I'm kind of hoping it's a specific beer, but I, I don't know if it is or not. Huh. What do we have here? Something I've actually... Oh, you know what? I've heard of these guys. I've never had anything from them. <coughs> awesome bottle. Kind of Italian shape. St. Ambrose. It's a barrel collection. Barrique. It is a uh, Scotch Ale. Uh, let's see, it's a scotch ale, scotch, barrel aged scotch ale, extra strong beer. On the back here it says, uh, I didn't even read any of the shit on this one, I was just so excited about it. Um, uh, it says, our barrel aged scotch beer is a big bold scotch ale that is full of wonderful and pale caramel malts that give initial flavors. Um, these flavors are carefully aged in bourbon barrels for weeks and enhance richness of caramel flavor to all, to all bourbon, blah, blah, blah. Dark mahogany color, yeah, 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 barrel aged. Sante more. Um, yeah, so you're talking about a brewery. I've heard a lot about it, but I've never had anything from, so to actually get something from them is pretty cool. 
I was weird because I was kind of hoping it was going to be the Flying Monkeys. Flying Monkeys came out with a bourbon barrel aged um, beer, and I just hoped it was that. Thanks for disappointing me with the fucking awesome beers that you fucking sent. Um, yeah, but yeah, this Nickelbrook one, as far as the information that was on here, it says uh, Ca Cafe de la Del Bastardo is a culmination of our friendship with uh, Tampa Coffee Company and our love of barrel aged Imperial Stout, an infusion of whole coffee beans, and then our Kentucky Bastard Barrels brings a new member to the Bastard family. Tesla Aromatic Beer displays bright co coffee, bourbon, vanilla, and malty chocolate coffee notes, followed by warming alcohol. So, yeah. Epic. Epic Canadian beer meal. This is what I like to talk about. Two beers I've never heard of before. Okay? Beer I've always wanted to fucking try. Beer I just heard about that I've been lusting over and something I've never heard of. I'm going to tell you right now. You're going to take notes about a beer mail. That's pretty fucking perfect. Um, you know what I mean? New, old, somewhere in between. Fucking fantastic. So thank you very much, Jacob, for sending this off. Um, you know, this is absolutely fantastic as far as I'm concerned beer-wise. So it is, uh, yeah, a pleasure to be able to review these. I appreciate it so much. I have no idea. Um, so there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoy me drinking all these sons of bitches. And uh, grab my beer here. Hope to see you next time. Cheers.